Hello, brothers and sisters, this is Tina. It's time for our daily devotional. Today, I picked a passage of God's words about the aim of the three stages of God's work. This is a very short passage of words, but it's very important. And it reveals, you know, what God does to save mankind. And it's very important that we understand that God saves mankind in three different stages. And to know these stages as the foundation to understanding our belief in God, why we should believe in God, and how we can gain eternal salvation. So let's read God's words. Almighty God says, The aim of the three stages of work is the salvation of all mankind. This means the complete salvation of man from the domain of Satan. Though each of the three stages of work has a different objective and significance, Each is part of the work of saving mankind, and each is different work of salvation carried out according to the requirements of mankind. Once you are aware of the aim of these three stages of work, then you will be aware of how to appreciate the significance of each stage of work, and will recognize how to act in order to satisfy the desire of God. If you can reach this point, then this the greatest of all visions, will become the foundation of your belief in God. Amen. This is a very simple passage of God's words, but very clear, showing that the aim of the three stages of God's work is the complete salvation for mankind, so we can be saved from the hands of Satan, where we can fully break free of Satan. And it's done in three stages, not two, not one, but three different stages of work. And each of these three stages has a different objective and significance into the part of doing the work of saving mankind. It's a different sort of salvation in each stage of work, going higher and higher through each stage as man breaks free from Satan's control. Man becomes closer to God as Satan is defeated in the same aspect. And so, When we understand and are aware of the aim of these three stages of work, then we can be aware of how to appreciate the significance within each stage. Like the example of the Old Testament. We can understand the the significance of the work that God did in the Old Testament. Instead of just reading about it, reading about different stories, we can see the objective that God set out to achieve. Same in the New Testament or the Age of Grace. We can see why Jesus became the sin offering and what it covered and the reason that he came to be that sin offering. And now today, we're in the age of kingdom. So God has come back to establish his kingdom and we can see the relationship between the redemption work and the judgment work, seeing that the redemption work was not the end of God's work, but the judgment is the complete salvation of mankind that will allow us to enter into the kingdom of heaven as we learn about God. Learn how to live in the kingdom. So it's really important that we understand all these different three stages and the aim of God's three stages of work. And God reveals if we can do that, then we can satisfy God and then we can um, have a foundation in our belief in God of understanding the fullness of God's work instead of just following along and guessing and using our theories to determine what God should and should not do but having the truth, which is fact, of what God has done and what God is doing today. And that's my limited amount of sharing on this passage of words. If you'd like to share on this passage, please feel free to do so. And if you'd like to join one of our online sermons, please get a hold of me, message me, and I'll be glad to get you added in. So we'll see you next time. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Bye.